In today's video, we're going over three prototype ARC 3.0 builds. The idea behind this is to start putting some pieces together and re-familiarize ourselves with the ARC subclasses, as I'm sure it's probably been a while since some of us have used them. They are the final element to get the subclass 3.0 treatment, and in just a few weeks, we will finally have our hands on them. We'll be going over Hunter, Warlock, and Titan, so be sure to stay tuned for your class, and if you enjoy the video, a like and subscription is greatly appreciated. Now naturally, a lot of things can and will change in the transition over to the 3.0 system, so I'm going to try and keep things really simple with these sort of prototype builds. We're going to have a ton of new mods, aspects, and fragments which are definitely going to change how we interact with these ARC subclasses. But let's dive right into it starting off with Hunters. Hunters will probably see a lot of changes in ARC 3.0 and it's rumored they may even be getting an entirely new super. We also know that the Whirlwind Guard from Middle Tree is going to be collapsed into the default functionality of Arc Staff. Top Tree Arc probably has the most potential out of all of the current branches, so we'll be basing this idea around that. Combination Blow is one of the center mechanics involved with Top Tree and allows us to deal massive stacking melee damage. The tree itself has a great back and forth by having our melee refund our dodge, and then we can use that dodge to get our melee back. It's a very nice, simple loop. Combining combination blow with a one-two punch shotgun allows us to deal some ridiculous damage with our melees, and we can take it even further by throwing in tractor cannon in our heavy slot. It's sort of the hunter's take on the classic throwing hammer or shield bash titan builds that you might've seen this season. In this example, we'll be using the Assassin's Cal exotic helmet, as this grants us invisibility after every melee kill or finish her final blow. This adds some nice survivability and allows us to keep combination blow going and line up our one-two punch shotgun even easier. It also pairs perfectly with two arc elemental well mods, Well of Ions and Overcharge Wellmaker. Well of Ions increases our melee damage on our next arc melee, allowing us to secure those one hit kills easier and go invis again. And Overcharge Wellmaker will generate two arc elemental wells every time we perform a finisher on an enemy. And again, we will turn invisible from this thanks to Assassin's Cowl. It's a very fun loop and you can certainly build it out further with more mods, but we're gonna wait and see what Arc 3.0 and those seasonal mods have in store with us for this melee centric build. Now moving on to Warlocks, we definitely have some fun potential here. Things will certainly change with the way Arc Warlock supers work, but Chaos Reach will most likely remain our best single target damage option, with Stormcaller being great for ad clear. One of the staples of Arc Warlock is this node on top tree, Arc Web. This chains lightning damage between targets off of our grenade, and our melee functions the same way as well. For this prototype, I wanted to lean into the chain lightning aspect of things as I'm sure we'll see some sort of chaining potential with Arc 3.0. We're going to be using the Crown of Tempest, which grants us increased recharge rate on all of our Arc abilities when we get Arc ability final blows. Naturally, we're going to want to go for as much uptime on our abilities as possible to get the most out of this. A very easy Elemental Well setup makes it all possible. We will use two copies of Elemental Ordnance, one copy of Elemental Armaments, and one copy of Bountiful Wells. This will allow our grenades and arc weapons to generate tons of arc elemental wells. This will give us additional ability energy back on top of everything that Crown of Tempest is already doing. Ideally, you will run all arc weapons with this, so you can also use Font of Might for 25% increased arc weapon damage at almost all times. I am using the staple Risk Runner Exotic SMG, which grants chain lightning rounds when we proc Arc Conductor. We can hit ourselves with our arc abilities to proc this perk and be chaining lightning everywhere. You can pair this with an arc rocket launcher such as Hothead for big damage from Font of Might. There's a lot of changes to be expected for Warlock with Arc 3.0, but this setup will give you a great ability focused build ready to rip out of the box when Arc 3.0 drops. Now finally, let's take a look at Titans. While there are quite a few decent exotics to pair with Arc subclass on Titans, none pair better than the Curus of the Falling Star. This dramatically increases the damage of our Thunder Crash Super, and I wouldn't be surprised if it actually gets a small buff, because it's currently sitting behind some of the other revamped supers for total damage right now. 
This quick build allows us to get our super back very quickly so we always have damage on tap, while also giving us lots of add control and good damage from our special and heavy weapons. We'll be using bad juju in the kinetic slot to help us regen our super as quick as possible, and I'm using the salvager salvo grenade launcher with demolitionist to help get our grenade back quickly as well. You could really use any heavy weapon here, but I am using the Storm Chaser Linear Fusion as it is also arc and will tie into our mods of choice. This build will be an elemental well generating machine. We will use elemental ordnance, melee well maker, and elemental armaments paired with bountiful wells to make it rain arc wells from our weapon and ability kills. Following along the lines of our other two examples, we'll round it out with Font of Might to boost our arc weapon damage at all times. It's a very straightforward way of having great ad clear and always having our super available when we need it. Now all of these build prototypes are simply templates that you can throw together now to get back in the flow of playing an arc subclass. Like I mentioned, the aspects, fragments, and seasonal mods will absolutely change how we approach arc subclasses and you can almost guarantee there will be some new insane combinations to check out. I hope you're as excited as I am to get your hands on ARC 3.0. I think ARC was personally in need of the most help with these subclass reworks, so I can't wait to see what Bungie has in store for us. We'll be covering all of it here on the channel, so be sure to get subbed up and ring that bell to get notified for all of the awesome build videos that we have coming up. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will see you in Season 18.